Welcome to the Yorkshire Tea Great Cricket Tea Challenge, where two teams go head to head for a new clubhouse kitchen worth 10 grand. This year, the teams only have 20 minutes, the length of a cricket tea break, to make their dishes. Quickly, pull your finger out, come on, hurry up. Do you think that's long enough? No. Our hosts are cricket tea connoisseur Michael Vaughan. What do you mean, blind bait? Does that mean you can't see? <laughs> and TV chef Rosemary Schrager. You haven't got quite enough strawberry there. I tell you what, I'm worried. Judging is based on a highly scientific system, the cricketer's tummy. Every time an item of food is taken off the plate, they're awarded a point. Fantastic. Food put back loses points. It's a smoothie, but it looks like frog spot. Competing in the challenge are an all-girls cricket team from the Cotswolds, Slaughter United. We've got Penny, who's perfect because she doesn't panic. Whoa. We've got Jo, who chose our Yorkshire puddings. Caroline, who is our tart expert. And I decided to do a ploughman's tower. It's certainly pickled. <laughs> <laughs> and their rivals, the self-proclaimed best tea makers in the Midlands, Spring Hill Cricket Club. My cricket teas are very popular. Stop it! I do the main cooking and all the rest just, just look, look pretty. They look pretty. Lads, are you doing all right? They just like watching. <laughs> what? Getting a new kitchen means everything. At the moment, I have to make all the cricket food in my own kitchen, in my own home, so it means a lot for our club. That is a beautiful flavour beef. Tune in next time for the first heat. There's chaos over here. <laughs>